Today, I'm going to demonstrate a few Ansible security automation use cases. But before we get into the demo, I'd like to take a moment to talk about Ansible security automation and the role it plays in the cybersecurity space. Ansible automation is our expansion of Ansible to enable security response and operations teams and provide them a more efficient way to automate their various processes for the identification and response to security events, using Ansible to stitch together all of the different tools used as part of those processes. Currently, Red Hat Ansible security automation enables the orchestration of the solutions highlighted here. We'll be looking specifically specifically at Checkpoint as the firewall, IBM Key Radar for our SIEM, Snort for our IDPS, and we will be integrating ServiceNow for keeping track of our incident in today's demo. And with that, let's begin the demonstration. For today's demo, we will be looking at how Ansible can simplify and streamline identifying and addressing security alerts. For this scenario, a junior SOC analyst has noticed a few alerts coming from the firewall into Key Radar. Based on these alerts, the next step is to begin an investigation. The first step in the investigation is to update the IDPS server, in this case Snort, with a signature provided to the analyst. Using a survey here, the analyst is able to pass just the signature to the Snort server using automation built and approved by the security team. Now that the signature is in place, the analyst is ready to configure Snort to send the logs to QRadar and configure QRadar to accept these logs. Ordinarily, this sequence of actions would require an individual to log into Snort and then separately log into QRadar so that each security solution could be configured individually. However, with Ansible, a workflow like this can simplify both sides of the task, trimming away unnecessary repetition and opportunities for human error. From this view, we can inspect the details of the job templates that make up the workflow and monitor their progress. Now with everything in place, the analyst checks Key Radar for those new alerts. Sure enough, here are the alerts from the Checkpoint Firewall and the Snort server in Key Radar. And now the analyst is ready to begin the next step of their investigation. For the next phase, the analyst will need to block the suspicious IP and create a ServiceNow ticket to track the incident. Just like before, each of these systems is accessible through the Ansible Automation Platform Controller. First, the analyst launches a job template to block the IP at the firewall, tag the rule for logging, and install the new policy in Checkpoint. Just for completeness, let's verify the rules taken effect. There it is. Next, the analyst is able to log an incident ticket in ServiceNow from the Ansible controller, using the surveys to fill out the information ServiceNow needs without having to log into ServiceNow to log the incident. Let's take a look at ServiceNow and verify the incident is in place as intended. Here it is. Now, with the changes in place, incident logged, and triage completed, an important part in returning to this analyst's normal operations after an incident such as this is to clean up the IDPS logging from Key Radar in order to save on bandwidth and reduce alert fatigue. With a single job template, we're able to roll back the configuration changes made to QRadar and Snort. That brings us to the end of our demo. I hope this has been informative and helps demonstrate how Ansible security automation can bring value to your organization. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your day.